Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf, your one and only, and today we're going to be playing some Dragon Blades, and Adventurer's Sanctuary is finally in the game. But first, I'm going to be using my Arc Ticket that we just got today, which is pretty nice. It's actually pretty weird because I'm pretty sure they did the update early, which I'm fine with. That just means I get to actually show some things off. So, we can actually go in here and we can actually look at it inside of the Challenger. It's right here. But first, like I said, we're gonna pick our character from it. I clicked the wrong thing. Don't judge me. Now I'm gonna go for Lucy and Cryos for multiple reasons. And here is the reason why. Is doing with my passion effect. So this actually came <laughs> in handy. So if I get Cryos, I finished this completely for my melee damagers. So Rin would actually be getting a lot more damage and I would get additional boss damage from this. Arc too, so that's gonna be nice if I actually get him Arc, which I'm going to do. As for Lucy, it's more of the reason of getting another additional boss damage, but that would be ultimate. So that's the main reason why I'm going for these two. So let's go ahead and get him now. I'm actually gonna start trying to finish all of my uh, passion effects. Uh, what do we have in here? Already finished that. Do it one time and you get two triple S allies. Nice. I was thinking about going for the essence and extra heroes but then i thought about it, i was like dude i really need to catch up in buffs so i should be doing these way more often the reason i got the ultimate one is just because i was finished with my uh logins for the whole month where are you lucy is he... okay I was, like, I was making sure he was actually on there there's lucy there it goes. So everybody's getting Celine just because Celine is probably one of the best damage dealers to bosses. There we go. Perfect. I need to start doing that more often now. So each time I do my logins for now on i'm just gonna go for the ultimate at least until i ultimate everything out then i'll try to start somewhat arcing everything somewhat not sure if i'm actually gonna try to finish everything on it though i'm gonna try though going to try so let's get into adventure sanctuary which i'm still not sure if it's pub battle or not Alright, currently a duel is already going on. So I'm pretty sure this is mostly bidding. I'm pretty sure, naturally. This team has more sustained as um, truth seekers. So my money's on them. This is like anybody's budging inside of their HP, Jesus. Uh, okay, who do I want to vote for? I'm going to vote for... Oh. She even has a priest behind her? Yeah, I'm going this one. Everybody says this team. I want to see how this one does. If 
Foxy is over there, so that's probably why a lot of people chose this side. But you guys know me, I don't go with the majority. Oh, these guys definitely don't have any gear, Jesus Christ. It's mainly because of Foxy, they're winning. Okay, so people are basically picking anything with Foxy in it. And plus, this is a magic dealing team, so magic dealing teams back then were like really strong. So I can see why they chose, chose this side. I wasn't thinking about that. And plus, I can't really see Foxy's face due to like the glare of my lamp. Alright, so... Oh, well, that's a no-brainer. That's literally a no-brainer since they have Hal. Hal here, you, you definitely know he's gonna win. Because if you guys don't know, I'm pretty... Well, I'm not sure if they're Max or anything like that. But if this is going off them, like, ultimate, Hal automatically... supposed to kill one enemy. Just like that. Yeah, and they can't be res back, so that's pretty much GG. And plus, they got Margaret too, who's a really good buffer, so kind of saw that one coming. Uh, yeah, Foxy's over here, so you know what? Just gonna pick this side. Don't don't mind me. I wonder what's in the metals shops. Ooh, AC. Oh, mmm. Uh, Not sure about that pricing. But then again, you can make these within like seconds. So I guess that's alright. Just spend hours in here. I'm pretty sure this doesn't leave at all. Pretty sure you could just sit here bidding all day. Which is a new addition, and I love it. I have no problem with this. <laughs> this actually seems fun. Hopefully there's, you know, more higher ones to where, you know, you start using trans or overlords in the future. Now that's going to be fun. I view rewards. Yeah, so you can have like stuff like that. Sweet. And if you go on a run streak, you pretty much have all those. There's a lot of teams in here. Jesus. Hold on. Mmm, that's a close one, to be honest. I would probably go this crazy chick just because she likes to hit people into orbit. Yep, and knock them out of play. Yep, that's another one out of play. This is why hey, everybody hated it. Uh, <laughs> oh. Um, yeah, all players are getting knocked out. This is why so many people hated Atlas. She was so annoying when she knocked people out of play. And pretty much when you... Uh, yeah, I'm going to go with this one. And pretty much if... If somebody got knocked out of play, it was just pretty much GG. That that unit is technically dead. It's over. You can't have that unit back. No, I'm just kidding. But you can't have the unit back, but technically it's hit out of play. So if your rest of the teammates die, as your two allies are pretty much out of play, that is basically... Hey, this character is technically dead out of play. Which never really made sense to me, but I guess it did at the time a little bit. I mean, it's basically, let's say, an enemy getting petrified. He can't do anything at all. That's pretty much GG game over at that point. Ooh. Lucy's in there, but... Oh. I'm gonna go with Winlu on this. 
But then again, the Cancer team could be really interesting. Never mind. I mean, this team is just pure DPS, so I saw that would come from like a mile away. Not Foxy. I'm just getting coins like really fast. As long as you have a streak and it keeps going and going and going and going, then eventually you'll get a whole bunch of points. So I guess I guess it's not all that bad. Especially if you, you're on like a really high streak. But then again, like I said, any of these characters can die pretty much any time. And there's no way in hell that he's gonna kill Kamel. And plus, I'm pretty, pretty sure. Does he have life still? No, I don't think he does. So yeah, he's pretty much dead. Unless they label characters that haven't killed each other as a draw. It should be based on max HP or how many people are alive. Yeah, I thought so. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Yeah, that's, that's not going to work out. Ah, oh, I can't remember. That's all? I'm kind of sad now. That was actually fun. This I would have won just because... Pretty sure Metis isn't aims towards magic. I'm pretty sure she's a physical buffer. So, yeah, that wouldn't have worked out. I'm kind of sad now. They shouldn't put on the, the whole win rate thing. I think they should should have like kept that off. Because then I just, oh, never mind. Because things like that happen. Yeah, I think, hold on, let's make our last prediction. I think this team is probably going to win. Just because of the constant heals over here. But then again, this team could win just because it's more physical. Oh, there you go, King Graham. <laughs> okay, yeah, the not team one because it's more physical. All right, that's all I could do. Sadly, there's a limit. <laughs> I mean, if there wasn't a limit, then that would be an issue, I guess. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Not really in the need for allies. More essence. So you can make ten essence a day off this, depending on how good you do. All right, and that is it. Kind of sad because that was actually extremely fun. <laughs> but thankfully, I got my uh, passion buffs done for those two. And now I'm not sure who else I want to aim for. I think I might do. I might do the, these two next. Just because. The whole physical buffs and everything. And I'm going for more of a physical team for a while. Should be interesting. Then again, I can go trigger. Yeah, and trigger would give me skill damage increase. Pretty much what they all use, just straight up skills. So, this is gonna actually be pretty good too. But I would have to, you know, work on this whole team. I was thinking about these two, but then I thought about it. It's like, yeah, that's a gray area for me. <laughs> but I also could get these two and get some extras on these. Actually, yeah, I, I can do that next time. Got a few range damage dealers. 
so yeah hope you guys enjoyed i will see you guys on the next one and yes i am still saving up my essence i'm going to show you guys every time <laughs> three thousand from this week eh, not half bad you, you know it's a daily grind of all my rubies <laughs> but yeah guys i hope you guys enjoyed i will see you guys next time see then peace out don't let anyone tell you what you should do. I got a clear view. We're gonna make it soon. Just keep pushing through. Yo, what you got to lose? Yo, what you got to lose? Yo, what you got to lose? Just keep pushing through. Cause what you got to lose?